kind of information do you want from the circuit? Hey everybody, thanks for joining. So today I'm going to do a quick announcement video for a review that's going to be coming up. And it's the WB-SIM enhancement for the SESTA 172 Skyhawk. And this enhancement gives you this Skyhawk as well as one on floats, one with no pants, and then one on skis along with some liveries, but not too many, as you can see. The features about this aircraft is that it's a near study level. That's what they call this. So I'm going to go ahead and get in here. I'll shut down. And now it's a near study level enhancement. It's only going to be available to you if you have the deluxe or premium deluxe version of Microsoft Flight Simulator because those are the only ones that have this version of the Cessna. And I'm going to switch here to VR. State restored. And let's see. We're going to brighten it up a little bit here. We don't want it quite this overcast today, so let's go to clear sky. There we go. Now we can get a good view inside the cockpit. And let me do this here. Pull myself over here centered and forward a little bit. Okay. Now, when the airplane is turned off, we have access here to some features which... Okay, it doesn't see it as being turned off. Hold on. It's because of the state saving. Okay, there we go. So, as you can see, we got engine health, we got oil level, we can do a pushback, which actually puts you here at the tow bar yourself, as you can see. And you can push yourself back and align yourself up the way you want, which is kind of sweet. I'm not exactly sure yet how it works. <laughs> I don't know if it's uh, slowing. Oops, it's not slowing. That put me back inside. Uh, and then you got realism, as you can see, on and off. Wheel chocks, pedo covers, tie down, and cowls. And if we go back outside, you can now see the chocks, the tie downs, pedo covers, and the vent plugs, which all have to be removed if you want to fly this plane. And they can all be done by here. So we'll remove the covers, we'll remove the tie down, and the cowl plugs. And then if we go on, we have state saving turned on, trim tab, which is OC and IF, IR. And I can't read that. Oh, that's the uh, angle of attack gauge, which you can see I can turn on and off. And I think then we have cabin temperature, and we can pick the voice for the setting. So those features are available when the engine is shut off, when the whole vehicle is shut off. The other one that's kind of nice is down here, if you hit the in-op, where is it? Oh, there it is, up here. Then what that does is that, let me go outside again, gives you your charge cart to charge your battery. Now, the realism on this guy is incredible, and so far I haven't spent enough time reading the manual, and I've not been able to get this thing to start up properly. And it's because I haven't taken the time to really study, but it's, it gives you that much realism that, <laughs> you're like, I can't. I don't have enough juice to start it right now. The volts. Looks like it should start though. <laughs> so, as you can see, there's a lot of realism to this aircraft. There's a lot of nice features. I think they've added like 90 points of realism. The radios are all very realistic. Um, you actually have to turn them on here. And 
these a lot of the features that are available in these items have been made so that they're exactly the way it should be in real life. They, I think they added like some 90 points of realism, including things like the test, the bright and dim. Uh, whoops. So you can see you could test that. You could actually test your ELT. And then what is it? 121.50, I think. Uh, I'd have to program into my radios to actually listen to that. Um, you got a VFR button. Uh, on one of these. I thought it was a VFR button to put the transponder into the immediate. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, VFR is down underneath. Yeah, come on, get in there. And it puts you on 1200 automatically. Anyhow, I just wanted to show you, and there's going to be more videos on this guy. As soon as I get it all figured out, it's for uh, adding that, that realism, the near study level. It's WB SIM, Cessna 172 Enhancement, good for the deluxe or the premium deluxe version of Microsoft Flight Simulator because that's the only one with this Cessna 172. And I'm also changing some of my flight gear. Um, I still have my, my, my honeycomb yoke and I got some nice new rudder pedals, but I'm going to be changing out my current throttle quadrants for ones that are more accurate to a Cessna. Hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the skies. Hopefully.